Well, Andrew O'Hagan, my great friend in, in crime and non-crime, is, is interviewing me. Ostensibly, I think it's about my stories, saints and sinners, but knowing that we're both Celts, it will wander off into many avenues. And the thing I would lo like most to talk about, because I feel it very zealously, is this question of, of reading and getting more people to read. I know people have come to the festival who love books, but for instance, in the riots in London last week, the one shop that was not looted was a bookshop, Waterstones. That's very telling. I'm glad they weren't looted, but I'm also sorry that books don't hold the same cachet as a pair of jeans or a pair of sneakers or an iPad. They don't, and they should. I'm writing a memoir, sorry to make it personal at first, and on that account, I am mostly reading memoirs or wood or memoirs as such. I mean, I think Proust is you know, he would disagree perhaps, but he's not in the room at the moment. But I think uh, it, it is the greatest memoir of all, even though it's a novel. The memoirs that I have been rereading a lot are in the book of Speak Memory, Richard Volheim's Germs and Bob Dylan's Chronicles. They're all very different, but they're extremely gripping. And to tell you the truth, whether they're telling truth or lies, I don't care. They seem to me to be great memoirs. And I did get out of the library just yesterday Enid Bagnell's memoirs, which I haven't yet started. So that's keeping me going, along with... I read poetry a lot. I love reading poetry. And um, I was reading a little bit of T.S. Eliot yesterday, too, to raise the, you know, raise the standards. I've been working on my, own, my memoir, which is called Country Girl. Uh, just confuse it with my first novel and a play of which I've just written, The Country Girls, going on, starting now in Dublin. Um, I, uh, I, I've been working on it for about two years, and Faber are zealously expecting it very shortly. That's not going to be so. It won't be very shortly, because it is a quite, it is a very hard thing. It's harder in its way than fiction, because you have to steer a course not out of uh, propriety's sake, but just out of aesthetic. You have to be honest, and yet you have, to, hopefully, that it will have some of the gleam of, of, has to be truthful, and have, at the same time, some of the gleam of either poetry or good prose. It's not just flinging down, it's not a diary. And that makes it hard, at least for me. But, um, be a few moments. Christmas maybe. <laughs> it would seem as if I have two days off. They're not two days off really because you have to do errands as I call them. Uh, I'd like to see various things, that's not possible, but a poet I admire very much who I know is going to be here is Michael Longley. I think he writes exquisite and very fine and um, very deep poems. I know uh, He's Irish, and I am Irish, so it makes, might seem a little bit of the patriotism, but it isn't simply that. I love his poetry. <laughs>